What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Leo sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of July 23rd and August 22nd, then you're a Leo sun sign and this video is for you. We are halfway through October and uh, you know we're getting into the spirit of things and uh, we're doing a reading today that's going to help get into the spirit of things. Uh, this idea was brought to me by Atypical Tarot. Uh, he has a great YouTube channel where he mixes uh, spirituality and science and metaphysics all together and uh, I encourage you guys to go check that out I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below but he brought me the idea of using some of my darker decks for this uh, Halloween or October or Samhain season so I appreciate that and that's what exactly what we're going to do uh, this reading is centered around blockages and we all have blockages and uh, we're gonna talk about blockages of the mind of the body and the soul today and we're gonna use a different tarot deck for each of those categories uh, we've got the Dark Grimoire Tarot, the Omega Land Tarot, and the Mortem Oracolum. So we got three different decks, and they're going to help us understand our blockages, or at least the blockages of Leo Sun Sign. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, this first card, oh, look, before we get into it, I just want to say that uh, this is going to be a challenging reading. Um, I did this reading for myself, and it was very difficult to hear. And if you feel uncomfortable or sad or depressed during this reading, that's a good thing. That means we've hit, struck a nerve. That means we found a, a problem. And now that means that we can move in the right direction. We can move away from that issue. So uh, I, I know that this may be tough to hear if this does resonate with you, but uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of healing. So the first card we're going to look at is this one. It represents blockages of the mind. Mental blockages that Leo Sun Signs may be carrying around at this time. And we got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting the sense of community from this. Mm. I think mentally... The, the feeling I'm getting from this is that mentally a lot of Leos see themselves as individuals. Uh, they're not really part of a group. They want to do their own thing. They want to pave their own path and they want to do it by themselves. Maybe because it gives a sense of achievement when you, when you do complete it. But I think a blockage that many Leos are having is that they don't think in a, a community type way. They think in a more individual type way, and you could accomplish a lot as an individual, don't get me wrong. But if you start thinking more community, uh, there's just so much more that a group can accomplish that an individual can't. And I think uh, that's kind of a blockage that you, you may see yourself as you know out on an island and you gotta do it all yourself. And I think if you start to think more community-minded, you're gonna find a, a, a wealth of support, a wealth of um, friendship, you know? A group provides so much security, creativity, right? When one person in the group is being creative, that inspires the other people in the group to be creative as well. So uh, I think mentally, I think Leo's, I think you need to start thinking more group minded and start saying, you know what, I'm strong as an individual, but uh, as a group, I'm a lot stronger. It's sort of like that, uh, you know, a twig, you know, by itself just snaps in half. But if you have a bundle of twigs and you try to break it, it's not so easy, <laughs> right? That sort of thing. Uh, so that's uh, at least in the mental aspect, in the mental realm. I think the way that you think uh, possibly is very individualistic when you could be thinking more about the whole. Does that make sense? All right, let's move on over to this card, which represents blockages of the body. Not necessarily just your physical body, but like the physical world. B blockages of, well, we'll see what it says. <laughs> okay, we've got the moon card. Hold on, give me a moment with this. This is... These readings have definitely proved challenging for me as a reader as well, so give me a moment to really go into this card. I'm getting a lot of fear from this. Uh, I know that's not a physical thing. Fear is, is more of a mental thing. Um, but how is, how is fear manifesting in the body? You know, you see this woman, she's obviously in pain. She's got a fork in her... <laughs> In her arms, she's got a, a cockroach through her thigh. She's got a someone poking at her her joints. <laughs> uh, I think there's a lot of physical pain that's coming as a result of loneliness, 
is the feeling I'm getting. You know, she's alone. The moon card, to me, a lot of the times, uh, signals just being kind of all alone a little bit. And uh, I, I'm getting some physical pain that's coming as a result of this. You know, physical pain are just manifestations of something that's wrong energetically within us. And if, they're, if you're feeling t so alone, then you, that might, you know, if you let that simmer and you let that fester, then that kind of energetic imbalance can eventually manifest into the physical body in the form of all sorts of physical ailments. Uh, f physical pain, you know, sickness, disease. So um, the feeling I'm getting here is that, again, the idea of being alone uh, is manifesting in the physical. I think, uh, Leo friends, we need to find our tribe. We need to find the people who support us. We need to find like-minded people who are uplifting. You know, the, we can fall into groups where, you know, I don't know. I've been in groups where, you know, it's just a fight to see who's the alpha, right? And everyone's trying to bring each other down. <laughs> you know, that's not constructive, okay? I think we need to find a group that makes us feel like we're part of something. And I think that's going to help us feel better in the physical world. I think you're going to find the uh, alleviating of pain. Is that the right verb? Alleviating? I don't know. Elevation? <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually don't know. Yeah, you might feel some uh, respite from the pain if you can find your tribe. It's basically the feeling I'm getting from this. This is a weird reading. I can tell already. I really, it's going to get weirder. Because okay? so, now we're getting into this card, which represents blockages of the soul. And this is when it gets real, not only because this card was drawn in human blood, but because, uh, well, we'll see. It's, it's the soul. So here we go. We've got Journey. The feeling I get from this is that your soul wants movement. Your soul wants uh, maybe yeah, movement physically around the world, but no more movement as in change. And I think your blockage is that you have your own idea. Like, like what I'm getting is you have your idea of where you want to go and your soul has an idea of where it wants to go, uh, but the two are not necessarily in alignment. Right, I think you want movement, but perhaps and this is just an example. But perhaps you want movement towards financial abundance, whereas your soul wants movement towards creativity. Do you see how those two things uh, are kind of in the opposite direction? But what we need to realize is that you can have both. Uh, if you can come more into alignment with your soul, then you're also going to come more into alignment with money. So it's kind of a, a paradigm where, you know, we want money. This is just an example, by the way. I'm not saying this is you, that you want money. I'm just saying, I'm just using this as an example because it's a popular thing, you know, uh, people wanting money in, in, in Earth society. So uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> um, so say you want money, right? And your soul wants creativity. Uh, it's a paradigm because you think that, you know, you can't be creative and make money because we've been taught that you have to work at a job where they, they suck your soul. <laughs> okay. But well, that's not true. There's plenty of artists and, and people who are creative who make money. It's, and, and it's just a matter of coming into alignment with your soul and finding the abundance that's going to come from that. I don't know. I don't know. This is very difficult reading for me. I, like I said, I did this reading for myself, and it was very hard to, to uh, very challenging to to find the, the answers within. But uh, once I started talking, it started coming out. So uh, I think basically we need to get your 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 mind in alignment with your soul, and realize that through finding your soul's purpose is where you're going to find what your mind wants, right? So, okay, let's use this example. Your mind wants money because it creates a sense of safety and security, okay? And your mind doesn't want to go into the creative route because creativity is volatile. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know when your next paycheck is going to come, right? That's the way we think. But if your soul truly wants creativity and you decide to follow your soul 
you will be rewarded with money and abundance because that's your soul's purpose. And if you're in alignment with your soul's purpose, uh, you will be protected. You will be secure. And it may not come in the way that society has taught us, but it will come. So it's it's very hard to say, oh, screw, screw that job. I'm going to go, you know, paint pictures. But uh, if that's what your soul wants, how, how are you going to fight that? You, you shouldn't. You can't. <laughs> Okay, um, and it's not a good idea. So now that we've seen all the cards, Leo's, this is a very difficult reading for me. I'm gonna be honest, but I think there's just a individualistic mentality that you may have that is 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 causing blockages. I think you need to be more willing to to see the bigger picture, to be a part of the whole, rather than to just strike out and do your own thing, and just be your own. Um, that's great. You should do that. You should have independence, absolutely. But there also needs to be a sense of community. And what you can do is bring that fiery independence to a community. And oh man, you're going to uplift the whole community. And they're going to help up uplift you. So finding a community is very important. But I also think that doing what's in alignment with your soul is going to um, remove a ton of blockages. I mean, and that's obvious. Uh, but uh, it has to be said <laughs> okay so uh that is the reading i know that was a weird one i'm sorry i hope that resonated i don't know if it did i never know if it does or not i just i just go with my intuition and see what happens so let me know in the comment section if this did resonate with you uh, i want to thank you guys for watching uh, again this is a this is a general reading so you know if you want a more specific reading uh where i tap into your energies you can go to my website it's a uh, link in the description box below and that's going to be it. So I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I want to wish you a happy October. Uh, be sure to do all the YouTube stuff. Liking, shares, so subscribes, comments. I really appreciate all that. It helps spread the channel. So thank you for that. And that's it for me. So happy, 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 <laughs> happy, happy. Have a great October. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.